Hello students, today we will do a beautiful problem from the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. This can be found in the East West Presses book Test of Mathematics at 10 plus 2 level. If you want to solve the problem using a hint, and that's actually the best way to solve it. First you try it on your own, then do not read solutions or do not even watch this solution video. Then first read a hint and then try it on your own one more time. If you still can't do it, then of course the solutions are there, the videos are there and so on. So the way I'll do it is I'll go to the problem bank in our Panini 8 software. You can check a link in the description for that. All the problems, objective problems from test of mathematics are here with hints and solutions. So I'll just go to the problem number 350. And this is the problem number and uh, you can read the problem it says that y is equal to 1 minus x plus x square by 2 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial and so on similarly z is equal to minus y minus y square by 2 minus y cube by 3 and so on what we want to find out is the value of log base e 1 by 1 plus 1 minus e to the power z of course if i can think about this problem on my own that's great if i cannot i can actually see a hint which is right here and uh, that's the best part of this software that it lets you try a little bit more with your with a, little, with a small hint and then we can try it on our own one more time so let's do it okay so uh, I'll, I'll come back to the white blackboard and I will use something called a Taylor expansion. Now, in the ISI CMI entrance program at Chinta, we discuss Taylor expansions as part of the calculus module. Taylor expansions have a very simple philosophy. If you have a function, let's say of the function is e to the power x, the exponential function, if the function is ln 1 plus x, the logarithmic function. If the function is sine of x, the trigonometric function. Can you describe these functions using polynomials? Polynomials means x square, x cube, and so on. These are called polynomials. Of course, these are monomials because we have only one term. But this is a quadratic, which is example of a polynomial. Similarly, we can have a cubic and so on. The philosophy is this, that can you describe these sort of functions using polynomials? Turns out you can, and not really polynomials, but like an infinite series composed of polynomial pieces. And this is sometimes known as Taylor expansion. Maybe in some other video, we can actually talk about Taylor expansions. In fact, if you go to the contest lesson pages, that is the study material page for ISI CMI entrances here, you will see that there are many such lessons available which are specifically directed for ISI and CMI entrances. You can click on view study material and check this out. Uh, not everything is here, but more stuff is added every day. So I think you will find it very useful. Okay, let's come back to the actual problem. So I'll go back to the problem bank and I will choose test of mathematics. I will type in 350 because that's the problem that I'm doing. And let's come back to the blackboard and see what we are working on. So what is the Taylor expansion of e to the power x? Well, the Taylor expansion of e to the power x, this is something that some people remember. You can also derive it using a little bit of calculus. It is 1 plus 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial and so on. This is the Taylor series expansion of e to the power x. What is the Taylor expansion of ln of 1 plus x? ln means logarithm to the base e. The Taylor expansion of this is x plus, uh, I'm sorry, x minus x square by 2 plus x cubed by 3 and so on. 
we will be using these two expansions to actually solve this problem. So if you look at this, the first thing, the y, it's 1 minus x plus x squared by 2 factorial minus x cubed by 3 factorial and so on. This looks almost like the Taylor expansion of e to the power x. The only difference is that instead of everything positive, we have negative signs alternating. So what I'm going to do is I just replace x by e to the power, I mean x by minus x, so e to the power minus x. So what is e to the power minus x? e to the power minus x is 1 minus x by 1 factorial plus x squared by 2 factorial minus x cubed by 3 factorial and so on. So this is exactly what y is y is e to the power minus x. If you know Taylor series, you will immediately recognize this. Okay, now that we have this, we can replace y here. Let's see if I can do that. So if I replace y there, what I'll get is z is equal to e to the power minus x with a negative sign minus e to the power minus x whole square by 2 minus e to the power minus x whole cube by 3 and so on. So what is this expression? Well, if you think about it, it is simply ln of 1 minus, again, minus x whole cube will be minus x cube, right? So 1 minus x well in this case instead of x we have e to the power minus x so this is 1 minus e to the power minus x ln of that this is precisely what e to negative e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus x whole square by 2 minus e to the power uh, so I can just replace every every everything by e to the power minus x actually e to the power minus x whole cube by 3 and so on and we are almost done because now i have an expression for z i have an expression for z and i can replace z in this final expression so let's do that we have log base e log base e 1 by 1 minus e to the power e to the power z okay this is z okay so instead of z i can just replace this so if i do that i have log base e 1 by 1 minus e to the power ln of 1 minus e to the power x minus x that's what we have okay e to the power ln of something is just that thing so we have log base e 1 by 1 minus 1 plus e to the power minus x. These two cancels off. So we have log base e e to the power x, which is just x. So the final answer is x. Now, I do want to ask you one question. Here is a challenge question. Challenge. Is this true? Is this true for all values of x? Think about it carefully and let me know in the comment section because there is something subtle that goes on when you are dealing with Taylor expansions. You have to have a very strong conceptual grip to actually understand it clearly. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in the self face program for ISI CMI entrances, check the link in the description. If you want a live classroom program with five to six days a week problem solving, then you can also check the description. We have a fantastic course for that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.